the newest trailer for Avengers Endgame hit in the early minutes of Super Bowl 53. And for most fans watching what turned out to be one of the more mediocre big games in recent memory, it was probably one of the few actual highlights of the night. The only real complaint we have about the 30 second spot? It just wasn't long enough. Still, with such a short running time, the trailer was packed with details and moments that seemed to hide plenty of significance. While we can't know for sure what any of these scenes might truly mean until the movie comes out in late April, we can definitely make some educated or not so educated guesses. Here are some of the smaller details in the big game's Avengers Endgame trailer that you might have missed. Potential spoilers ahead. First, the trailer runs through 10 shots of MCU characters. Who's in this blink and you'll miss it lineup? Starting at the top, we see the Wasp, Nick Fury, Spider Man, Doctor Strange. Falcon, Scarlet Witch, Star-Lord, Groot, Drax, Gamora, and Rocket, Black Panther and a couple members of the Dora Milaje, the Winter Soldier, and the Vision. With the exception of Rocket and maybe those two guards sharing the scene with T'Challa, all of these characters were killed in Infinity War, either after the decimation or directly at Thanos' hands. At first, it seems that these images simply pay tribute to the characters who died in the previous movie, but there might be more going on here. All the scenes are rendered in black and white and red. Symbolically, red can represent life and death, being easily associated with blood. You know, the stuff you need to keep inside your body to not die. But this is a trailer for a movie involving Infinity Stones and the Red One's The Reality Stone. There's been tons of speculation that time travel will factor into the plot of Avengers Endgame, but could these red huge shots actually signify that the Reality Stone will be the key to their resurrection? Who needs time travel if you can just ask the Reality Stone to make some dead people alive again? We also see Clint Barton bathed in red light in the trailer. And we saw the dead Gamora in an orange light, which many fans speculate to be her living inside the Soul Stone in Infinity War. Let's put this theory in the maybe category. The trailer officially kicks off with a shot of the Statue of Liberty. While that's usually a powerful symbol in film, standing for freedom or America in general, the details surrounding the statue are what seem to be most significant. It doesn't take long to realize that something looks off about the area surrounding Liberty Island. It's practically choked with boats and ships. For those of you who don't stare lovingly at photos of Liberty Island every day, you may not realize that this isn't something that happens often, or really ever. Compare the shot in the trailer to this photo of Liberty Island on a typical day. As you can see, the amount of boats docked there goes from a whole lot to exactly zero. The implication here seems to be the utter desolation Thanos' snap from the end of Avengers Infinity War has caused on the rest of the world. People are fleeing their home cities, now probably rendered completely broken due to half the population blinking out of existence, and are heading towards New York for refuge. The image we get in the trailer makes sense too, since the decimation probably destroyed air travel throughout the world. Half the world's pilots and air traffic controllers are all gone, right? So instead, people are getting on boats and sailing toward the most easily identifiable port of entry they can find. The giant green lady holding a torch right outside of Manhattan. In a brief but significant moment from the trailer, we get to see Tony Stark and Nebula working together on something. The last time we saw those two, it seemed like they were stranded in space together on a spaceship. Stark was recording a sad message for his lady love Pepper Potts, while Nebula was just creeping through the ship. Now we get a clear glimpse of the two of them side by side, working on, well, again, we still don't know what it is since it's out of frame. But we can hazard a few guesses. It could be repairs to the ship, which would enable it to get wherever they're going more quickly. Maybe they're working on fixing up a suit of Iron Man armor, which got busted in the fight against Thanos. Or maybe it's some other thing we don't know about. Either way, the most important revelation here is that we know for sure that Stark and Nebula are putting their skills together to figure out how to not die in the cold, cold vacuum of space. There are a couple scenes in the trailer that are conspicuous by what we don't see. As we know by now, movie trailers may show us previews of what we'll see when the movie arrives, but they'll just as often fudge the scenes they depict in order to keep surprises at a maximum. The trailer for Infinity War showed Hulk running behind the rest of the Avengers in Wakanda, and we all know that Hulk never showed up during that fight scene in the finished film. The new trailer for Endgame could be pulling the same switcheroo. Early in the trailer, we see a shot of Black Widow, Captain America, Bruce Banner, and War Machine walking outside of Avengers headquarters with a big old blank space where a fifth character would seem to fit easily. Another shot later shows the Avengers in profile, lined up, with yet another space for an apparently missing character. If we assume that this is an example of Marvel Studios misdirecting our attention to keep certain spoilers off screen, who could these missing characters be? If we believe these open spaces point to some hidden characters, there are a few distinct possibilities for who Marvel might be keeping under wraps. We know that Hawkeye is back in action in Endgame, as he shows up at another point in the trailer. 
so it seems unlikely that he'd have been erased from these scenes. But we still haven't caught sight of the Incredible Hulk, even though we have seen Banner. Could the Hulk have been separated from Banner in this movie, which has happened before in the comics? We also know that Gwyneth Paltrow will be in Avengers Endgame to reprise her role as Pepper Potts. It's not crazy to believe that Potts will take on the role of Rescue, an identity she's taken on in the comics while wearing one of Stark's suits of Iron Man armor. Seeing Potts in an Avengers group shot would be a huge spoiler, so it makes sense that Marvel would want to keep that particular plot beat under its hat. However, there's an even likelier person to have been erased from the trailer. It's very, very likely that the missing hero is Captain Marvel, whose debut movie is set to hit theaters about a month before Avengers Endgame drops. We know from the end of Infinity War that Captain Marvel will be important in this new film, since her logo appears on Nick Fury's pager just after he gets dusted. But what other presence does Captain Marvel have in this new trailer? Surprisingly, the answer is… lobsters. Yes, that's right, lobsters. In one of the few shots featuring Rocket, the only surviving member of the Guardians of the Galaxy, seems to reveal a couple of interesting details about his possible location. He opens up an old wooden door, with a shot of a rocky shore behind him, along with a couple of lobster traps. So what, right? Well, most of the country's lobsters come from Maine, and according to the Life of Captain Marvel comic book miniseries from 2018, Carol Danvers considers Harpswell, Maine, her home away from home. Meanwhile, the character's fictional biography has a born in Boston, a New England location that could certainly have a few lobster traps lying around as well. In either case, when you add in the fact that Captain Marvel is a spacefaring hero and Rocket the Alien Raccoon seems to be the character hanging out on the beach, it seems clear that Marvel's hinting at Captain Marvel's impending arrival to save the day. Thor's whereabouts leave us with a lot more guesswork than Rocket's. We only get a couple of solo shots of the Thunderer in the trailer. One's a close-up of his face, while the next shot shows him in silhouette at the mouth of some sort of cave or structure. In the distance, we see the green of trees, and what looks like a hill or a mountain. The cave mouth itself feels unnatural, and potentially man-made, so where is he? There are a number of possibilities, but like guessing what Stark and Nebula are up to, all we can do is speculate wildly. The colors of the landscape seem to look a bit like Wakanda. The cave, likewise, could be some kind of base of operations for the Dora Milaje. We know Akaye was left alive at the end of Infinity War, even if the continued existence of T'Challa's sister, Shuri, is in doubt. Perhaps, however, this shot comes from wherever Thanos ended up at the end of Infinity War. The cave mouth, or maybe spaceship, doesn't seem familiar at first glance, and we don't yet know enough about where Thanos retired. But plot-wise, it makes a lot of sense for Thor to visit his former foe, so he could retrieve the Infinity Gauntlet and undo Thanos' damage. Of course, we know that it got fried right after the snap in the last movie, so the sad look on his face could indicate a dead end. When James War Machine Rhodes and Scott Ant-Man Lang last met, it was as enemies in Captain America Civil War. The two characters took up opposite sides of the superheroic conflict, and we've never seen them interact as anything other than enemies. In fact, Ant-Man and Captain America basically threw a truck filled of gasoline at the guy. Throw it at this. Now! Oh, come on! Needless to say, the two of them didn't have the kind of introduction that makes for friendship. However, we know for sure that both characters will have important parts to play in Endgame, especially when Ant-Man drives up in his Ant Van at the end of the first trailer Marvel Studios released for the film. The new trailer doesn't give us much, but we do see the pair standing side by side, getting suited up and ready for action. It stands to reason that whatever beef these two had with each other has been sufficiently squashed, at least until reality and or the timeline gets reset by the end of the movie. Captain America is pretty inextricably linked to his famous shield, but believe it or not, he hasn't held the thing up since the end of Captain America Civil War. He was rocking a different shield entirely in Infinity War, sort of a triangular black buckler that was provided by T'Challa in Wakanda. But in this new trailer for Endgame, we got a shot of what seems to be inside of Captain America's classic shield. The circumstances of him reclaiming this weapon are a big question mark. Last time we saw it was when he threw it at Tony Stark's feet after the two of them finished fighting in Civil War. My father made that shield. Maybe Cap swung by Tony's empty penthouse to pick it up? Or maybe this is yet more grist for the mill when it comes to the constant time travel theories that continue to follow this movie. Regardless of how he gets his hands on it, everyone knows just one thing. When Captain America throws his mighty shield, all those who chose to oppose his shield must yield. 
check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the Marvel Cinematic Universe are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.